Um, is the guy that eats magic beans in here? Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. You hear that? I'm scared. Anyway, let's go, everybody. My name's Chris, and welcome back. There's some more of the mind to crack a certain way. What? Uh, no, this is Ocarina of Time. And with me today, I have. It's just Princess Naruto. So, um. <laughs> Whoa, where'd she go? Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the goop is pushing her back. The goop. The goop. The goop is on fire. We don't need no water. Whoa, what? Uh, that switch! It doesn't look like you press that with your weight alone, Link! Oh. Okay. <laughs> I found that out by accident, but let's go with it. So let's go inside here. Hello? Hello? Ah! Oh no, this is bad. We couldn't kill one of these guys before, now we have to kill millions of them? Can we kill them with the slingshot? Hello? Come on, you dinkus molinkus. Oh yeah, we already tried this, didn't we? Um, what about the Deku nuts? Is that why the guy was selling me Deku nuts? What are you buying? What are you selling? Okay, that did kill him. Can you give me hearts or something? Whoa, that's weird. Yes, thank you. Thank you very, 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 very much. I think we use Princess Naruto over here as a weapon. Hey, I'm not your weapon. I'm the next Hokage. We can't target these guys. Oh yeah, we can. I tossed you. Oh no, it didn't kill it though. That's unfortunate. Okay, if I was wasting another Deku, but we have a lot of them, so why not? Give me more hearts, please. Okay, that's that's okay. I'm okay with this. Mailman just walked up to my door and then he walked away and now he came back again. Uh that's weird. Is he stealing? He's totally stealing my mails. Not really, that's weird. Um <laughs> it's not really weird. I bet it's something that happens a lot, doesn't it? Mailmen stealing. And how come I'm always recording when mailmen uh, come into my door. They're recording at, like different times of the day too. Sometimes like 2 p.m. when the mailman comes and I'm recording. Right now it's 11 a.m. and the mailman's coming. That's really gross. <laughs> Anyways, we got the boomerang. Which seriously, it's about freaking time. Now we can go to every place of this world. Because that's seriously, that's the one item that's kept me from going all over the world. Around the world, around the world. Because seriously, a lot of the sculptures in this world you can actually reach. But using the boomerang, you can throw it at the sculpture Malaz, and then it can reach and it grabs it for you and brings it back for you. Like a good little puppy. It's like your own little personal puppy dog. Okay. I'm just gonna avoid all you and not press the L button to adjust the camera. Uh, there's too many. No! No! Just go! Although, I think boomerang can kill these guys in one hit. I mean, that's how it normally is, isn't it? Oh, well, that failed. Uh, maybe we should actually take the boomerang out since... Seriously, as soon as I get the item of the dungeon, I notice, in most cases anyways, it, like, it, it's like the OP item for a little while. Does that not kill him? Oh, yeah, it does. I wanted to kill the first one. Is it already in the ground or some crap? I don't freaking know. Oh, uh, I bet it can't actually hit it when it's... Not in the ground. Oh. Come on, seriously. Dude! Oh, it has to hit its tail, that's why. So now I should kill it. Heck yes! There we go. And it was oh, actually pushing the. It is pushing the item back. That's cool. That, that was pretty smart on Nintendo to remember to make it so, like, that stuff adjust or messes with items as well. This is just all entities. Minus the thing that was in the ground. Anyways, now I can deal with this asshole. What if it couldn't? What if this was not the item that we need to deal with this asshole? Oh no, hit the uvula thing. Ah! Nintendo Capri Sun would be proud. <laughs> Wait, what? Because this is uvula problems. Why? Are you shy? Why you no come out? Do I have to, do I have to lure you? To Whoa! How come it's sentient? How come it's uvula is sentient and knows that I'm like walking towards it? There we go. Come on, uvula mala. Parasitic tentacle. You know this this probably looks like uh, some parasites do, because I know there's those long, like, what those worm things called that I don't remember? Whoa, that was weird. It's all crumbled. That was creepy, man. So many creeps. I'm scared. All right, what do you want? So every time you kill some of these parasitic tentacles, some of that green goop thing Navi was talking about, it gives, or it disappears, so you can actually, it gives you access to other rooms. 
So now I've come out this way. Oh, that all my clock is Oh, it's because you don't sign it. What do you want? Are you telling me to? How inconsiderate! How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Take responsibility. If she said that again, it's not like I reset the game or anything. Wait, I don't think we went this way. Oh god. The red slime thing's gone! That must be because you cut the red tail! Uh, will that work with the other ones too? I mean, not. I don't freaking know, Navi. Why are you asking me? I don't know. Oh, there's bubbles in this room. Oh no, we have 40 seconds! What happens if we don't? Does he just have a stomach ache? It's all the gaseous this is in here. Oh yeah, actually! There we go, we can actually kill you with the boomerang! Yay! The boomerang! The bangerang. Okay, well, might as well use our Oh, cool, I actually totally hit it. I didn't expect it. Oh, give me the thing before the treasure spawn. What? Is there more? Oh, there. I'm trying to stand right where the chest is going to spawn. Is it going to work? Ah! I'm a failure to my family. Dang it. Three green rupees. Wouldn't it be awesome if it was like three purple rupees or something crazy like that? So it seems there's no rupees, like no yellow rupee in this game for 10 rupees. So this is crazy. Yeah, yeah, we got the compass. Yeah! I think that's it for items in this. Because I'm pretty sure there's no heart piece. I'm pretty sure there's no heart pieces in like any of the first three dungeons. It was just strange, but you know. Can we jump into the treasure chest? I've always I'm always, I've always wondered that. Not really, I'm just wondering that right. Oh, we totally can. If I get a better shot at it. <laughs> can we not? Okay, well, whatever. I'm done trying. <laughs> I'm done wasting my time with you, giant treasure chest. So yeah, and like pretty much one foul swoop, we got the boomerang, dungeon map, and compass all in one. Okay, so actually that's really useful because now we can go down here. Is this like the lungs or something? Oh, there's a big one right there. I wonder if that's where the boss is. I actually don't remember, so that's not like me pretending to like be stupid and spoil something. Thank you, Princess Naruto, using your shadow clone jutsu or something. I don't really freaking know. Okay, so you want to show the room on the right already. So let's go on this one. Aha! It's the also looks like red tentacle, but I guess it's maybe blue because the rest of this room is blue. Actually, it's more like green. And there is green stuff, green slime stuff. I heard too, so it is probably the green one. Look at it; it's so strange, though. And this one seems a lot more versatile than the first one. Is versatile the right word? It moves around a lot more. Come on, just just stop fighting. It has more health too. I think the other one only took like three hits. Wait, are you is that only the second hit? That would only be the second hit. Come on, bro! Get jiggy with it! There we go, okay, they totally took the same amount of hits. That's really cool how the room pulses, though, when you hit the tentacle thing. That's really neat. Alright, there we go. I think... I think that's it, right? Because we took on this room. This room is where we got the boomerang. This room we just did. And the other two rooms on the left there are... Um, where we got the dungeon map and the compass. I think. Oh, now this is gone! So I lied, I guess this is not where the freaking gush dog diggity... Is there another one? Oh, this is the green pentacle. I see. Well, we're gonna deal with these assholes first, because seriously, might as well- Oh, I thought that didn't kill for a second, I was like, seriously, you better die. Y'all better die, y'all. OH NO, DON'T TOUCH ME! Okay. <laughs> There's this freaking Naruto over there just sitting down. All I can do is sit around- OW! You dinkus malinkus? What do you want, Navi? Oh. Okay, I know. I know it's a parasitic tentacle. I didn't realize I was actually locked on because, you know, that wasn't showing up. The target icon. Come on. Oh, yeah. I guess we gotta get close to it again, don't we? Uh, <laughs> see, look at Link's back. It's like, uh, to the limbo! To the limbo! To the wow! And dog diggity done. Oh, you just got showered. Girl, I'm sorry, girl. He's got showered in freaking tentacle juice. How do you feel? I feel beautiful! That's nice and really scary, actually. I don't know why you made that voice for you. are Naruto! Naruto does not make that kind of a voice! Jeez. Is that offensive? Is that gonna offend people? I'm, I'm, like, I don't know. Someone like Naruto. <laughs> oh no, why would I try to attack him like that? I'm stupid. Oh, man. <coughs> Where did you go? I miss you so- How'd you get up there so fast? Holy crap! Oh, Spencer. Him. Dude, he spawned babies! How was I supposed to know he spawned babies? Aw, oh, I totally thought I was gonna hit both of these guys, but no. Oh, no! So I guess at this point, you're supposed to remember which which one of these holes had the tentacle in it. I think it's the one on the top left. Dang it! 
I'm pretty sure it's this one. Maybe, I think so. I don't really actually know, to be honest. Is, is there not a room we haven't been down yet? Okay, seriously. Death doesn't even reach! Get out of here! Wait, is my notes lying to me? Because I'm pretty sure there's a. Oh, uh, never mind. There's four golem skull shells in here. Well, I need to learn how to tell time. And by two. Wait, what? Tell time? Man, what the heck? Read notes. I need to learn how to read, not tell time. Oh no! Holy crap, I almost totally just dropped down. I'm totally toasting my goats. Wait, can we just attack this guy? Like, these things are massive! I never even noticed that tunnel. Look how big it is compared to Link! It seems to look like about Link's size. There we go. Can we just reach this without the boomerang? The bangerang? <gasps> Don't you dare jump down there, Link! I'll be so mad. Alright. Seriously. There we go. We did it! Yay! Um. Hmm. Is there a room we didn't go in here? So it looks like there's like a. I'm scared to jump down. There is a door right there. Where does that lead? I have to know. I'm sorry, Princess Naruto. I have to know. She should spawn up there. What's in here? What the heck is this? Oh my God! It's a jelly gel. Oh well, I didn't mean to hit the jelly gel, but it worked. Does that kill him? It did kill him. Cool. Come on, lock on. Lock on. So yeah, there's this weird jelly gel stuff. It's like, oh, that's not a platform, silly. But it's really weird. It's, these seems to just remind me of Jello. <laughs> this is just seriously hungry for Jello. Okay. Ooh, holy crap! It's a treasure room, fairy. Fairy? Oh, you're right here. I just get mixed up between the fairies and the nobbies. You know, they're kind of easy to confuse with each other. Um, hmm. Yeah, we were in the other room here. Princess Naruto should be up here, I guess, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna fast forward this. Okay. We. I don't understand how the, all that giant fall takes. Gives me damage, but like jumping off the chains at the Hyrule Castle Market Town thing, that does a whole bunch of damage to me. So I'm like, <gasps> uh oh, it's boss time. I really love it when he kicked me in the face. That's it, that's what I've been looking for. Throw me up there onto the platform. Uh, this is not a very obvious trap, not at all. <laughs> See, so I threw it right on there. That was a perfect throw. Now I can become Hokage! Princess Naruto got the spiritual stone! But why Princess Naruto? I don't know, because it's hers? Jesus, Link. No, everything's about you. Oh my goodness! I finally found my mother's stone! That's not a stone, it's a gem, you stoop! It looks like gem embroidered with freaking gold. I got very upset with Lord Jabu 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 swallowed it whole. I, while I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so su uh, what's what's her voice turning into? I was so surprised I dropped it inside. But now that I found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. So take me home right now. Hmm. Well, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, mm, well, nope, you can't actually- OH MY GOD! Those spikes can't fit through- WHAT THE HELL?! KIA! What is this, an octopus?! I'LL USE MY SHADOW CLOTE JUTSU! That's the, only, that's the only thing I remember about Naruto. <laughs> it's a giant octopus squid thing. BIG OCTO! ATTACKING FROM BEHIND! IT'S NOT BABY BLOP! Okay, let's just throw my boomerang at it. Oh, it actually stunned him. Well, I mean, that should have been obvious. So, this is how you're supposed to do damage. Whoa, holy crap! Look how sad he looks. Okay, he'll start to run away for some reason then. Oh no! Dang it, I should have jump attacked him. Run away from me, there we go. Uh huh. Oh, you know what? We're gonna freaking totally do this the pro strats way. Yes, I'm gonna totally save right now. Dang it! I was supposed to jump attack! 
Um, ow. That's okay. Actually, I kind of prefer him to hit me because then he turns around and runs away from me. Whoa! Yeah, that's right. That's right. Is he dead already? Oh, that was easy. That was actually oddly. That's it. How can I get a hard container? And also, seriously, watching attacking two cats and Josh Jepson do that, it took it freaking took forever. And I did that like five seconds fly. That was so easy. <laughs> Getting hit was actually a really good thing because whenever you got hit, like it just turned around and it fairy for that really difficult boss. Thank you, good lord for that. Alright, Princess Naruto, where the heck did you go? Did you get eaten by that octopus? Were you already dissolved into his stomach fat? His stomach punch, as I would say. I don't know why. Like, I, I'm, like, repeating that. Because I don't even understand that reference. Like, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I noticed Nintendo Capri Suns make, makes a lot of, like, references to things that he's never explained. But it's, like, not even for, like... Has nothing to do with anything at all, and no one's ever gonna understand them. But he makes them anyways. And by the way, it seems that when you stun these things, they turn really purple, and then they slowly go back to red. Yeah, see, look at that. Seriously, you sir are an ass. No, don't you dare jump down. I hate you. I want to kill you. I seriously just want to kill you. No, stop it. I really want to freak kill you. I just want you to understand. Oh boy, this is going nowhere. Oh my good lord. Fine, I give up. You win. You know what? No, I do not accept this. I hate you. Seriously? You will have the most painful death by boomerang. Get out of here. I hate you. What an asshole. Seriously? Oh, man. Okay. Okay, you guys need to calm down. Calm your tits. Stop dancing. There's nothing fun going on here, so therefore you need to stop dancing. Uh oh. Uh, oh my good lord. I'm running out of time! Magic! Okay. Go through the door. Everybody walk the dinosaur, etc, etc. What the heck is down here? What the heck is down there? Oh no! We are crushing the platform. Where are we now? I actually don't know where we are. Where are we? What rooms have we not explored in here? <laughs> Oh, I think this is the last room before the boss. Okay. Oh, is this alcove here the whole time? I guess so. So there's this the blue switch there, which means, like I've said, time and time again, you just haven't learned yet. You need something to press it down at all times, otherwise it'll stay pressed down. What's down there? I don't oh yeah, never mind. We brought Princess Naruto from down there. Okay, so there's a room over here that I didn't actually notice or even take note of when I walked in here. I have terrible observation skills, it seems. Although I often think I do have pretty good observation skills, since I don't think I really miss too much. Like, you know when you watch Let's Players and they miss really stupidly obvious things? Like, it's not even- if they're blind playing a game, then it's kind of understandable because they don't know what's going on and they don't know where to look. But if they've played a game from their childhood and they completely forget about something really obvious, like, isn't that just the most enraging thing in the world? It is for me. <laughs> well, not really. Sometimes they just find it humorous and lolz. But uh, oftentimes they're just like, HOW DO YOU NOT KNOW THIS ABOUT YOUR FAVORITE GAME FROM YOUR CHILDHOOD? I don't know. Maybe it's- maybe it's just because I have a good long-term memory. Did that guy not just drop hearts? Where did the hearts go? I'm so I could have sworn, like, when I killed one of these guys, they dropped hard. Maybe I just saw the blue puffy stuff. And I assumed it was. Seriously? Boomerang? Please go through walls. I don't understand why it goes. Seriously? No! I'm trying to walk on! Walk on! There we go! I thought that did damage. Whoa! What the heck happened there? Those were like, teleported down there. Seriously? Man, I keep pressing the boomerang to pull it out, but it keeps throwing it instead. Okay. Is that a gold sculpture? I can't. Oh, it is a gold sculpture. I should probably just take out my slingshot, to be honest. The one downside to the boomerang... Oh, I was gonna say you can't lock up, but you totally can, so what the heck am I talking about? And I should have totally taken off that fairy from my hot bar a while ago, because I'm totally gonna accidentally use it. Alright, there we go. Climb up the freaking vine. Get the very obvious golden skill chumagla. That would be- that's seriously, like, nearly impossible to miss. How would you even miss that? Well, I guess if you climb up this side. Can you even climb up this side? I don't freaking know, it's good. No, you totally can, so I guess that's reasonable. Okay, so now we just gotta hit this switch. Oh, I totally didn't expect that to actually happen! So, there's actually a webbing in front of you. Yeah, so you can walk in. So, if you try to, like, hit it with- I don't know. 
you try to hit it with like your stick or your seeds, you can't hit it. So I guess you're supposed to lock onto it and go. Hoo -ha -hee! You can't deactivate switches. What is the point of that? That's so strange. You can't deactivate most. I don't, the only switches you can deactivate in this game are like the blue switches, like those eye switches, like you hit their one-time hits. Well, not really. There's some later on in the game that aren't one-time hits. But that's so strange that those switches are one-time things. Oh no!